Hi guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Renuka Rajaram and I'm here today with a makeup tutorial. So today I will be teaching you how I have done this eye look. So yeah guys, let's just dive right into this tutorial. As you know, because of COVID-19, a lot of weddings have been moved to next year or cancelled, which is quite a pity. But from the 1st of July, a lot of strict rules have been lifted here in the Netherlands and it is again possible to have a wedding. So I wanted to create a very summery, fresh, uh, intense look for uh, today's video. So I'm wearing a very beautiful heavy bindi with these beautiful earrings that I got uh, when I was in Mumbai last year. I think they're so gorgeous, they're quite heavy though. And to clip my hair on the side, I got these two very very cute hair clips with which I couldn't work on them. And I'm also wearing two beautiful churras with a dangling pom-pom on the bottom. I think some of you know that I'm also a Mandy artist which means that I'm doing bridal henna for weddings as of why I have some henna on my own hands I'll show you a little bit of a close-up and the henna is already fading, I've done it a few days ago I've created some really cute elephants in this design with some nice flowers here and there so yeah, for me it felt very fitting to create this Indian inspired look the palette I will be using today is a really cute palette from Huda Beauty it's the Coral Obsession palette and it's so gorgeous for Indian looks as we really like to play with those intense colors and this palette has really bright summery colors which are perfect for our Indian looks and today I think I'll be using mainly this yellow color as well as this bright pink I have already taken the time out and done my full base with contour and highlight, blush, everything because the main focus today is our eyes so if you have any questions on the base just let me know in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram you guys, I've, I've gotten so many positive messages on Instagram from so many different women and I think that's so kind of you guys a lot of love for you um, but uh, yeah so if you have any questions let me know I have already primed my eyes with the concealer from NARS and I'm in the color medium to ginger so this is the one that I use uh, most often I am not per se going anywhere special today so this was more than enough for me but if you're going to a wedding and you truly want to make sure that uh, your eyeshadow does not crease then I would recommend you to use a uh, proper primer and the one that I have been using for years and I've been loving the most is from Urban Decay, it's the purple one this, it's uh, the eyeshadow primer potion of course and it comes in a tube like this with a wand and this is holy grail, it locks in your eyeshadow like there's no tomorrow. So this is definitely one of my recommendations for you guys. So I will bring you in a bit more. So again, start off with your own primer and make sure that your eyelid is even. A great trick is just to use your foundation on your eyelids. Especially for us darker girls, we can have a bit more hyperpigmentation on the eyes. So I'm going into the middle shade, I'm picking it up. On my brush, I'm using the MAC 217S, this beauty. I pick it up, not too much, tap off the excess, and I will start from the middle of my eye upwards. And that's where I concentrate the product. And from here, I'll go a bit more inwards. So this will become my base color. As it is not too much of a heavy color, as you can see, it's very, very light pink. So it is a great base, which gives a nice tint. Okay, I went ahead and I did the base for this eye, so I can show you what I have done here on this one. So we have already done the base with the middle color, and now the two main colors are this one on the bottom and this in the upper right. In real life they look very similar but on camera this is a lot more dark than this um, but those two I'm gonna use uh, to start off with. 
So what I will do, I will start off with the bottom color. So that's this one, the same one which I used to apply the base color all over and I apply that to the outer portion of my eye. Mind you, my eyes are more almond shaped which means that they're not that big. Um, so that means that I do not have as much space uh, on the eyelid. So the optical illusion here is to try and make my eyes look bigger. So I will apply that in a tapping motion on the outer V. And I kind of make a V with my brush and I drag it down. Then I go in with the darker upper right and also deposit it on the same part which I applied the lighter color. The magic happens now with a fluffy blending brush. This one is from Morphe um, and the specific name has faded off so I cannot tell you but a fluffy blending brush will do the job so you go in and really lighten it up by blending it in a windshield motion and I bring it down too do not forget the lower lash line you guys uh, with these intense looks you need to make sure that it is one and not not that it just cuts off right there that's not um, nice looking so blend 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 i think that you can see how soft it has become um, compared to when i started and we're continuing with the most vibrant color in this palette and that's the yellow i'm taking a very precise brush that's this one and it's also from morphe in the y20 dipping it into the yellow and this one i am applying with such a small brush because i want the pigment to be concentrated uh, as much concentrated as possible so I'm patting it pat, 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 on the skin and this yellow I'm bringing into my inner corner and then down and with this look you have to decide how much of the color you want I want it to be really in my face <laughs> so that's why I'm applying a lot of the pigment a lot of the eyeshadow I'm packing it on um, and taking a very very tiny brush this really cute little piece I have no idea from where I got this it doesn't have any name but it does the job I'm again taking the dark pink one and I pack it on like that again taking my fluffy brush I will blend them both Still, they are really really blended together and it looks very nice so I will keep blending till they're both blended together I like how it is now but I want to add even a bit more uh, yellow so I've taken it on my brush and I'm going in usually when you do eyes look like this or like a cut crease you put the lighter shade on the moving eyelid and that's exactly the same thing that I'm doing with the yellow so instead of a white color, I use yellow. And open your eyes, tilt it a bit down, and bring the yellow onto the lower lash line. This is such a fun palette. You can create so many different looks with it. Uh, you can even just apply one color on the lid. It is really up to you. Everything is blended how I like it. I want to keep this look very simple so it's doable for all of you. So I'm directly going into the glittery colors. As I'm wearing gold jewelry, uh, I also want to go in with this rosé gold color. It has a um, more pinkish undertone which has like gold flakes in it and I will be combining them with another glitter. Taking the Y18 brush from Morphe, I'm picking up this color and I'm applying it on the pink part so not on the yellow or at least not a lot blend it a little bit but I want to keep it more in the middle of the eye so it blends into the pink but it's more in the middle so you can see I've kept it more towards the middle a little bit to the sides 
um, but not too much. If you want to make it even more pigmented, use a setting spray on your brush and then put it on. So, repeating the same thing for this eye. And it has such a pretty shine to it. I like that the shimmery shade kind of adjusts to the base underneath it. So that's all uh, for this. And there went my eyeshadow palette on the ground. <sighs> okay, so that's it for this shimmery color. Now I have another palette from Morphe. This is a really old palette full of glittery colors. So the name of the palette is 12S and it is mainly glitters and the glitters are also very pretty and really pigmented and I think <laughs> I think that you guys can tell which color I have used from this palette <laughs> this, this gold shade I have no idea what the name of it is or even if um, Morphe sells them individually I would definitely know what color I would be buying separately here this beautiful gold foil shade and I can show you, it's co it coats the brush so, so, so nicely. So I'm now using the Y22 from Morphe and I will apply this on the yellow parts. So any gold shimmer eyeshadow that works for you will do the trick. So now I will go in and blend the rose gold with the gold eyeshadow and it gives a very intense eye look <sighs> okay so now I'm gonna complete the look I'm going to do mascara eyeliner and lashes and this is the look you guys oh I'm so happy it looks amazing I do want to finish one thing off so before I do the finishing touches the mascara I use is this one by L'Oreal Maybelline, the lash sensational and my eyeliner my holy grail eyeliner that has been my holy grail for years is this little beauty from essence it's the cheapest one but the best one <laughs> and it is um, waterproof a very tiny tip i'm not very sure what lashes i'm wearing i found these in my drawer <laughs> without the box or anything but i think they might be from morphe house of lashes has also amazing um, lashes and lash glue um, and then yeah Huda Beauty also makes um, nice ones I like this wispy effect so what I wanted to add to a finish of the eyes is a little bit a little little tiny bit of um, eyeliner or like a cold pencil uh, and this one is by Marc Jacobs actually it's a highlighter gel crayon this small little one so i will look up and apply that into my waterline Working. i always do it like this closing my eyes and tight lining as i go i will add a little bit on the outer part of my eye but it's mainly to cover up the spots i think that you can tell but by adding that um liner on my waterline it makes it look a lot more intense as you do not have that light line on your eyes for my lips i will be using a gloss from a rituals actually and this is called la vie en rose in pale pink and it's a nude type of gloss to top everything off <laughs> I will we'll be adding the Fenty Gloss Balm on the middle as this one gives a beautiful shine so guys this is the finished look as you can see we have the really summery bright colors with the beautiful gold shine and lashes and some good eyeliner really make the look complete this is a heavy glam but i wanted to keep it um, yeah kind of natural looking in the sense that i've added a lot of highlights and gloss so it doesn't look as cakey That 
that is the finished look. I think it looks so glam but so classy at the same time. And I really enjoyed creating this look for you guys. Let me know in the comments um, if you like this look. If you're gonna recreate it or at least take some inspiration from this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below and put on the bell to get a notification when I post a new video. And yeah guys, I'm sending you a lot of love. Very, 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 very big hugs. And I'll see you in my next video. So until then, Stay happy.